Hello everyone, welcome to another Python video. In this video, we're going to be solving the most number of factors problem. So from 1 to n, where n is an integer greater than 1, we will output the number between 1 and n inclusively that has the most factors. So for example, from numbers 1 to 5, the number 4 has the most factors. Our solution plan is going to go as follows. We're going to take n as an input, and we're going to set two variables, max count to 0, and set resulting num to 0. This is our variable initialization, and we'll be updating max count to um, to the fact to the number that had the most number of factors, and we're going to count how many that was. And the resulting num is going to be the value that generated the most number of factors. And then we're going to use um, for loop to generate numbers from one to n, and we're going to count the number of factors of each numbers of each number number generated and if that new count is larger than our previous max count we're going to update our variable initialize max count and result num so let's get started we're going to go uh, num is equal to int input enter n and then we're going to do max count is equal to zero and result num is equal to zero we haven't found those yet so we're just going to initialize to zero and so on and we're going to say um Total factors is also zero because we're counting the number of factors a number has. All right, uh, we'll call this upper limit. Actually, that way we can go for num in range because I wanted to use this variable called num here rather than up here. We're gonna go range from one to upper limit plus one because I want to include that upper limit, and then we're gonna count how many numbers that um, how many numbers it has. So we're actually going to put this in here because I want this to reset. Reset this variable every time this for loop executes the code block. Okay. So we're going to have a, um, a factor counter here. So we're going to need to have four divider okay. counting number of factors for num. We're going to have divider in range. We're going to go 1 to num plus 1. And then say that if uh, num modulus divider equals to 0, we have found the factor. We're going to go total factor plus equal 1. End of inner for loop. And every time we find one, we're going to compare it to if total factors is greater than our max count. And then we're going to update max count to be the total factors that we just found. And the result num is now, instead of being zero, going to be the num that generated the, um, the largest number of factors. Update to hold num, which generated the most factors so far update to hold the largest count so far we'll write like that so once we have ended the outer for loop because our code work is done here okay now i'll put that print uh format of result num have the most factors with max count factors. Okay. Let's copy that code. Execute this code. Let's say we're looking at 100 and uh, value 60 had the most factors with 12 factors. And that was our solution. First and foremost, we took an integer input to set our upper limit. And then in our outer for loop, we're just going to generate all the numbers from one to upper limit. We're going to analyze each of those numbers and how many factors it has. And we're utilizing this double for loop again. And with the, uh, with the fact that we're going to have this variable called total factors be resetting every time this outer for loop is repeating its execution. 
at every time this repeats, we calculate a, a number anywhere from one to upper limits, um, the number of factors it had. So we're going to run this exact same code that we've seen plenty of times, right? We're going to create a for loop with the uh, iterating variable called divider. Every time we find a factor, we're going to increase that uh, counter. And after that was over, we're going to now check with the max count that was pre previously created has been initialized to zero. So the first one we find should update that value. And every time we beat that value, we'll be updating this val this variable and this variable and so on. And after all that execution has been done, we get a nice little formatted print statement. So there you go. That was our answer for the, no the most number of factors from one to N. As always, thank you for watching and stay classy.